Hey guys, welcome to the second video for our topic 7.1, discrete energy and radioactivity. So in this video, we're going to be looking at this portion, which is accounting for the emission spectrum in terms of transition between energy levels. So we're going to be looking at uh, the use of this photon energy formula. And in case my writing isn't very clear, this is uh, E gamma is what that sign's supposed to be, the lowercase gamma. And the basic formula for this is E equals to HF, where H is Planck's constant. So just a number like pi uh, multiplied by the frequency of the photon itself. Um, now, the data booklet uh, presents the formula as this. In fact, um, I think the data booklet actually presents it as E equals to HC over lambda, where uh, C is the speed of light, speed of light, and H is Planck's constant, just like it was above. So it was a substitution of this. Um, so a little bit of rearrangement, F equals to C over lambda. So they're replacing or substituting F with C over lambda, which is how we get this other equation. So you can actually backtrack to find the frequency if you want. Just kind of split that up. And the other thing that's really important to note here is that the um, because the amount of energy in nuclear physics can be um, very small, um, in terms of the photons being emitted, we talk about the energy units as an electron volt rather than a joule of energy, because a joule of energy is actually a lot um, in the atomic uh, world or the nuclear physics world. So um, one electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules. So very, very small in terms of what one electron volt represents. Um, the other thing that is also to note is that the energy um, that we're looking at is the energy emitted um, or the energy loss or gained even uh, as it transitions between different states. So let's have a look at some examples to wrap our heads around all this and, and put all of this together. So the first example we're going to look at is calculate the energy of the uh, hydrogen uh, gamma, H gamma hydrogen spectral feature that has a wavelength of 656.3 nanometers. So we're going to be, uh, let's see, we're going to start our work down here. So we're probably going to be using this formula right here, E equals to, let me shrink that up. So this is example number one. We're going to be looking at E equals to HC over lambda. And what we're given is calculate energy, so E equals that. So we're going to have to find Planck's constant, which I'm going to look up right now. So Planck's constant is, this, this is just a straight substitution, so uh, Planck's constant 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34. I'm going to skip the units uh, just for the sake of um, space conservation. Speed of light, 3 times 10 to the power of 8. And then our wavelength is 656.3 nanometers. Six, whoops. Six fifty six point three nanometers. Nanometers is ten to the power of negative nine. So if we crunch that all together, um, we are going to get. Uh, 3.03 .03 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules. Now, um, as I said, this is a very small amount, 
and we want to convert this into the uh, electron volt. So uh, depending on the answer, but usually we want to give our answers in electron volts in the nuclear physics unit. So uh, one further step, so this would be step one is just um, straight substitution. And then we're going to also do a conversion. So we're going to take our value 3.03 .03, times 10 to the power of 19. And we're going to divide that by 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. And so that comes from um, what we mentioned up here, that value right there. Okay, so we're dividing by that okay, to get our electron volts. So we're going to end up with 1.89 electron volts, right? That kind of nicely cancels itself out. So 1.89, 3.03 divided by 1.6. Okay, so that's example number one. Um, example number two, microwave oven heats food using electromagnetic radiation of 2.45 gigahertz. So uh, it says calculate the energy of such radiation. Again, give our units in electron volts. So let's clean this up a little bit first. So this time we're given the frequency which means we can actually shorten our work a little bit. Example number two. So because we're given the frequency, uh, we can actually use the shortened version of our formula because we've already got the frequency. We don't need to um, worry about the speed of light and things like that. So we just need Planck's constant. So the energy given off is Planck's constant times the frequency and so straight up substitution is Planck's constant, which is 6.63 times 10 to the power of negative 34. And we're multiplying that by the frequency, which is 2.45 gigahertz. Gigahertz is 10 to the power of, no, 10 to the power of nine, uh, 2.45 million megahertz is 10 to the power of six. So gigahertz is 10 to the power of 9. You guys can obviously look this up. Um, you don't have to memorize it. Um, and so we're going to get uh, 1.62 times 10 to the power of negative 24 joules. And again, doing our conversion. So that was step number one. Step number two, 1.62 negative 24, uh, 1.6, right? Yeah, 1.6 times 10 to the power of, 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19. And this is gonna give us 1.01 times 10 to the power of negative five electron volts. Right. Um, third example is kind of, interesting because we're dealing with power here so um let's get rid of all that and so example number three a typ typical headlamp in an outdoor activities may have a power output of five watts or 300 lumens. Estimate the number of photons emitted per second by such a headlamp. Excuse me. So, um, let me see here. So, what we're going to do is headlamp is actually an emission of white light. So, so headlamp here is actually uh, something like the sun. So this is giving us a continuous spectrum. So remember, continuous spectra gives all the different colors of light. And so what we're going to do is we are going to treat it 
uh, if we think about it, we have uh, 400 to 700 nanometers, um, being the colors of red and violet, respectively. And so if we take sort of a halfway mark there, that's going to be uh, 550 nanometers. Um, so that's sort of the average wavelength of all the light that it can emit is 550 nanometers. So we're going to use that average uh, frequency, no, average wavelength of light emitted. Okay, so we're going to treat it almost as if it were um, sort of, I think that's sort of like greenish yellow light. And uh, we're going to make our calculation in now. So now we have E equals to H C over lambda. We're going to do our substitution 6.63, negative 34, speed of light 3 times 10 to the power of 8, divided by our nanometers, which is negative 9. And we get 3.6 times 10 to the power of negative 19 joules. And what's interesting now is if we're thinking about the, um, the power output. So this is giving off 5 joules per second. So the number of photons would be, so joules per second, so we have five joules per second, five joules per second, and we have energy. So then we'll get the number of photons per second. So if we divide that by energy, we'll get the number of photons. That's energy. Energy divided by energy, then we'll have time. It's the number of photons emitted per second. So if we divide that, five divided by that, then we're gonna get one times 10 to the power of 19 photons per second. So quite a lot. Okay, um, next up I want to, um, actually, let's split this up into a third video uh, before talking about these energy states.